my name is Mika. I'm creating this Lightroom tutorial for uh, showing how to use Lightroom first time after you have installed it at your computer. I'm pretty, uh, or I'm sorry about my poor English, but it's the only way to learn it better, just speak it. So that's another reason why I'm creating this video <coughs> tutorial. But for the beginning, when we start up first time Lightroom, it looks pretty much like this. We have no photos, nowhere, and nothing else. And when we check this out, this looks so misunderstood. But now I will be showing you how to start using this like uh, semi pro or not so new, but before this. No, I'm okay, anyway. First thing first, uh, we have to go under library tab and then we have to click import. After that, we get import window and there will be different source places where we can import photos. In this case, mm, I don't import uh, photos at my computer. I'm gonna plug my memory card and soon it will be show. Okay, it found it and after that I have few photos are bunny. Okay. <coughs> First thing, uh, Lightroom will be uh, always when we it finds out new photos, uh, copy those as DNG or copy as they are at your memory card. In this case, these are uh, NEF files, that's Nikon RAW file format, or whatever camera you have. In case if these files are in your computer, it will be moved or move those files to uh, destination folder or add those to catalog but in this case we copy okay here we can choose a grid view or one view or we can ch uh, change thumbnail sides by here and sort by uh, capture time or file name same thing basically but and here we can check all or uncheck all and after that we can choose what photos we want to import like I have choose few photos by clicking control and after that when I click this it will be choosing those photos and those photos will be highlighted as mark that those are imported but I will be checking all those now and after that we go file handling here we can choose what quality uh, build preview we want to have and I'm using minimal because it's uh, best for not high tech computers course I am using laptop that's many more and by build smart previous this will be including some uh, this space like double of your picture sites because it's trying to uh, <coughs> keep those previews as easily to read than possible but I don't use it because I have limited amount of uh, disk space at my computer and don't import suspect, suspected duplicates uh, in this case if we have same name files or those have to be pretty exactly same files that it won't be uh, importing those but I 
usually take it on because I don't want to have suspected duplicates or duplicated photos. <coughs> Here we have this make second copy too and this is pretty useful in case if you want to back up your photos and after you have set up your destination where you want to uh, import your photos you can add here second copy uh, if you have some NAS drive system or cloud file setup thing uh, you can click this and just show where to uh, copy those secondary copies and then those will be saved there but I don't have that usage right now and here is add to collection but <coughs> who is adding and who is not I'm not <coughs> file renaming here we can rename files by clicking this we can rename it those by template name uh, custom name custom name launch in our file and sequence and that case here we can give our custom name and start number and then we will show here sample view how it's looking and if we have put here photo sample view will be show it as photo AD of one but in my case I have never used it <coughs> Apply during, during import, import I'm not applying ever anything because I'm using raw files and I don't you know have um, anything app applitos. Uh, keywords we could give here and uh, this case uh, I have to check here. Yeah. I will give here some keywords like bunny. Rapid Snow Snow The hell and uh, Winter and so on. Now I can easily find those with this keywords anymore okay after that we can go destination and this will be uh, everyone's own opinion how they wanna uh, build the their uh, folder system but <coughs> here is how it's mine uh, basically I have folder uh, drive F it's external drive there I have this folder Palakuvia uh, which is same as photos so basically when I click right button and create new folder I'm able to get here then I have created new folder uh, by ear and under those I will be clicking again right button and there I have created 01 January, 02 February models and some uh, work where I get some money perhaps someday. <coughs> Never know. Anyhow, uh, below those I have give day and some uh, describable name for it. So basically now I'm under this 02 Helmiku which is 02 February and there I have uh, each day when I have add photos but in this case I'm not using right button click and create new folder I'm picking this in the subfolder and this way I can give subfolder where they these photos are added actually this was taken 24 and I will add here bunnies of course in Finnish and after that <coughs> I just click import 
and then we see some importing files. And I drink a little bit down here. Okay. Same time this is importing this. Here we can see progress. And here is our folder setup. <coughs> I track this little bit this way. And here in right side we can see our histogram and basically what our camera settings have been at that moment. And under that we have some quick de develop, develop stuff which are pretty rough and hopefully no one is never using this. I tried a couple times before and no good you can use here by the way. And then we have this keywording what I already gave but here we can add if we want some more. Here we have some suggestions with uh, basing by our previous keywords and here is some keyword sets. Also we have here in keyword list where we can add new keywords and we can choose some keywords by clicking. Let's see, can we find something Describable. Uh, just a sec. Come on. I need something. Bah, 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 bah. Nothing? Okay, well, I can untick snow or tick it on. Uh, that way we can choose. <coughs> Choose our keywords. Here, top of here, we can filter and by clicking this, we can give new keywords and synonyms for it. But, well, I'm not sure do we need any more tools. We can basically type here any random keywords what we want. So. This list is pretty easy way to use but not so necessary after this keywording. Then there is metadata, what we mm, want to save. Uh, here is some presets, if you have made some presets and here you can see your <coughs> metadata files. Uh, preset under, if we have some created preset we can choose to here but if we haven't we can make one and basically there is not many uh, files what you need to fill but eptc copyright is the one of the most important and ebct creator who have created and after that we click done so save as and we give name and after that we choose it here and this will update by that and by <laughs> this film name uh, some services are uh, when you are up uh, loading for files using this file name for file name at page but some places I think 500 pixel was one of those if you put here name and caption you these are out of filled at your photo when you are uploading to just tip <coughs> if need and here is comment and this was 
made for Facebook or uh, Instagram or Flickr uh, synchronizing I'm not sure what, which one it was but anyhow some of them okay then we have option to choose some files example this three here and click right button after that we can choose flag flag it unflag it rejected or choose rating or choose choose color i pick red and here i choose this click right button and choose green and what these colors are making is that here we can filter by those colors our photos so now i'm seeing only three field uh, label red label or or same is up here red or green but here we can also search by text any search of font contains all and here we can type this well i can type bunny because there is every picture bunny but if i add here run like so and uh, after that i type here run oops run <laughs> Uh, it's showing that uh, uh, image so basically we can use this by searching our image uh, also we can find this uh, search this way uh, let's see we can search by using file name uh, contents and we can put here uh, 683 and it will be showing all the pictures which are including the 6 a tree and that way we can also find some pictures so attributes for was the stars here is creator less or equal star amount colors flag metadata <coughs> taken date camera picture uh, lens and label but example right right here now we can choose more but you get the point I believe and no and basically that's all for this <coughs> library sites side there is some uh, grid view one picture view loop view you can choose uh, candidate let's see like here and we can select mm, that but not so much usage <coughs> then we can turn people be on and it will be detect faces but I haven't used it because I did haven't seen it necessary I know where my people photos are but anyhow now we can jump on devil develop let's pick some photo here what we start kind of edit Mm, is this sharp? Sharp enough. I believe I take this one. Oh, this is pretty nice looking. Okay. <coughs> when we come this uh, just a second. When we come this develop develop uh, page first time it will be looking something like this oh by the way this flower if you wanna it's gone and if you wanna it's there or you can even add some more anyhow 
Here we can see our histogram and how it's showing is that here, this side, there we can see black uh, data and basically that means that there is darker than shadows data, so black, as black data. And then we have shadow data, uh, mid data, highlights and whites. And these whites, these are bad because this data, when it's corrupted, it's totally disaster. Blacks are easier, blacks can be forgiven, a bit easier, but whites are terrible bad thing. <coughs> Here we can click some shadow and highlight clipping and basically what it means is that when we have two less white we can we get this uh, blue dots what means that there is two dark spots and there is no data anymore or when we go this direction we get red and then we have two bright big clusters and there's no data and here is happening clipping so this line ends too early okay so that's basically histogram next we have here a crop overlay works as air also but clicking this we can choose some aspect and basically I'm using myself 4x3 or 16 by 9 16 by 10 because these are most common formats in this case I think I take 16 by 9 and this lock goes on so we can track and it will keep aspect creation all the time and <coughs> I have this church method how to see where my interesting point spot should be but by pressing O I can change it different type of interesting spot view but I'm using this search right now. I think I take a bit more like so and click uh, done. But one thing first, we have here this angle uh, strike tend tool which works pretty well at Lightroom, but there is one thing what I don't like here because in Photoshop I can zoom. zoom. Did you hear how I say zoom? I can zoom the picture so I can even way horizon track that line angle with this strike tend tool. But here in Lightroom, that's not possible. I have to always be fit mode to use strike tend tool, and that's annoying sometimes. <coughs> but now I click down and here is here is our picture now. Now one thing what we have to remember is that Photoshop Lightroom is using non-destructive data method. So basically even when we crop this picture and there's not that outside thing of the picture, it's not deleted. It's always safe. The original picture is always saved uh, safe uh, when we click this again we can see that it's still here it's just uh, invisible right now and basically we don't need it right now so there is our bunny and next thing what we have here is pot removal tool and this does is it removes things what we don't want to see here 
like these tiny sticks. Can we get that stick away? Yes. Can we get that? That? And this is how it works. We don't want to see poopy. Poop. It was poop. No. So basically, that was spot removing tool, but there is also option is it cloning or healing and depending mode we need to sometimes heal and sometimes clone but <coughs> in my case I'm more often doing this healing and cloning at Photoshop because it's way uh, easier there and here in Lightroom it's somehow so heavy to do it so basically I'm leaving it for Photoshop then we have this red eye correction and our bunny doesn't have red eye but there is this <laughs> super cute pet eye thing I wanna try it now and catch light. Let's see. Oh yeah. <coughs> Can we? Okay. Like so. People side. And catch light. Oh, there is tiny catch light. I didn't just feel it. Okay, there is our bunny. <laughs> okay, they have made some improvement for it. It's working pretty nicely. Not perfectly, but pretty nice. <coughs> so, basically, I wanna remove it. I don't need it right now. And then we have this uh, gradient filter, which basically is what it says. It gives our gradient uh, tool, and that way we can choose area what we want to use it. Like so, and by clicking here, you can see area it's affecting. It's this red area, and we can also use Bruce for making it look better. Let's see, like so. And now we get our snow a little bit whiter and. That was so simple. <coughs> also, we have this radial, 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 which were, which is working same way as that <sighs> gradient fill filter, but it's only radial. And there is option filter and invert mask, which makes. This work other side round, but these are also tools I'm not using almost never because I like to leave these in Photoshop. But in this case, I do use those so I can show how those work. And here we have this brush tool, but that used to be pretty heavy. Here we have some mm, brush adjustment tools, sides, theater, flow, and here is how it affects on area we draw, like here. We can brighten it, darken it, contrast, highlight, shadow, white, blacks, clarity, DH, saturation, but I'm not putting it off right now. Okay, then we get the 
most important <laughs> area. We are going basic and tunnel curve and so on, but here when we first treatment this as color or black and white photo. I choose color and here we have white balance selector. After we click it we can pick some thing what should be white like this now and after that it will be put all that color as white. So it's choosing our white balance. After that we can adjust our picture, exposure, bit and contrast, highlight, shadow, white, bl white blacks as we earlier look here and clarity, vibrant, saturation, tone curve. Now the theme. Here we have this contrast and when we are adjusting it, we are giving some contrast to our photo and after that when we are adjusting these whites and blacks and shadow and highlights we are giving basically more that contrast for it and worst case ever we also give here some contrast so basically we have given now one two three times contrast and that's nonsense no one want to do that so this contrast is very uh, boring contrast it's fast and not accurate aqua uh, you know uh, sharp like so you know accurate and this is medium by it's giving some adjustment and it's somehow accurate aquar aquar okay that word and this is most uh, detailed way to give some contrast for any photo but we go here up up to down I think this should be plus 50 it look good pretty good on that I skip this contrast I drop a little bit highlights I add some shadows that's much I don't uh, well I add plus 5 clarity this looks pretty cool with full clarity which was most common way to do photos at the beginning but not anymore then I drop bit vibrancy and saturation can be in zero now I give here some uh, contrast for this photo I give this tiny S curve and here we can choose this is linear medium contrast or strong contrast and I think it's linear now when we click this we can go edit our blue channels red channels and green channels if we want but in this case we don't wanna and if we create these dots here by double clicking it will remove those and it was too yeah. like so our GP and I think I tried to Okay, then we can go hue, saturation, and luminance. And I basically use this by so that we can that I can see every slider here. But pretty often I am not anyhow 
uh, adjusting this I trust the white balance uh, we can change this way or we can also create black and white version of but I go with hue saturation and luminance sometimes there are some colors so over that I have to keep them some uh, remove some color and give some brightness so it won't be so uh, popping out there because it's not necessary for here then we have split tuning we can give here some color for highlights like yellow and shadows like blue pretty common way to use but in this case there is too much it and we can by this balance slider choose which is winning is it yellow or blue but I'm not giving it this time but there you can add some color for highlights and shadows also detail how much we wanna sharpen this and by clicking uh, alt and tracking this mask we can see area where we are adding sharpening and white is where it's adding sharpening and black is where it won't be okay <coughs> there is how much detail we wanna try to add there and what is radius more you put uglier it will be look there is some noise reduction if we have should be with high ISO we can use this but try not to use sharpening cause these both together are making photo go totally nonsense pixel heck now we can add some lens correction remove chromonical operation and an apple profile correction which will fix some coloring distortion we needing and here we can do it by manual but most cases this automatic works fine here we can transform by vertical not looking good by horizontal not looking good we can rotate some then degrees or minus 10 degrees we can choose aspect and scale and some offsets but these are not useful also we can use guidelines to guide our straight ways but someone say that this ain't working that well anymore so I don't know I click off and I go back here uh, actually under the crop choose that this measure tool and I believe that's straight up right now constraint corrupt will be removing uh, white areas when you are transforming this effects so we need thing uh, minus is black and plus is white uh, midpoint far center rounders uh, square theater none much highlight pop out or not crane amount crane sides roughness not using so much dh very powerful effect use with 
Kach Kachion Kach Kachion Kachion Use carefully and then we have camera calibration by Adobe flat landscape monogram neutral for right straight standard vivid I think I took this portrait because this is basically bunny portrait basically and after that I would be clicking right button export and would be exporting for desktop subfolder and no watermarking by image size nothing and file settings PSD and I would be uh, continue editing this by Photoshop but here basically something what you can do with Lightroom uh, when you are starting with mm, zero experience what we have here left is map basically if you have keep it, uh, GPS you get you will be getting here a uh, spots where your photos have been taken but my map is on offline right now because I have no internet connection right now and so that way you could see where you have traveled where have you taken your pictures yeah, you can create book by your pictures. Uh, here is some adjustment what you can do. Here is place where can you can buy it. Blurb, I think that was uh, selling those, or you can print it as PDF or GP. So here is some uh, pre preset sites cover paper type uh, logo and estimate price should be here don't know why mm, left and right blank and fine one photo, photo per one page uh, auto layout actually nothing happened page numbering we can add some numbers at our page like here if you want uh, one photo we can add some page just to get extra page <laughs> so guidelines so basically you can see here the painting uh, text page text, text but these are just some uh, but you have to experiment by yourself and here you can send it for blurb and they will create it and send it for you and after that they will send you a bill <laughs> clear book like so okay what we have here next it's live so basically we can choose our pictures like so and we can create some sort of uh, time time lapse but it will probably work always right so I just create this preset uh, settings couple days ago so I'm just showing how it works and yeah, here is it so basically these are myself imported i found those internet for uh, star trials or sunrise sunset time lapses but this is basically created by without these so here is some stroke i just made here and also zoom fit to paper it will be filling it and opacity uh, shadow but do we need those no guidelines how much we left uh, empty space space around these photos uh, aspect rays identity plate comes up here watermarking if you want rating stars if you want 
text overlays we can add some text here but need right now backdrop color background image if we want to add we can put some image there background color we can remove that also intro screen as you see you saw my name there also ending screen same name after this time lapse could be done no music selection slideshow automatic slight length 5 seconds cross fade 0.5 seconds uh, 0.1 seconds uh, pan and zoom we didn't accept this repeat slideshow random order and quality standard and after that i hit play and we show what happened so basically <coughs> that was what you can do here also you can export it after that as video and export as pdf if you want some cases you might and there is if we want to print ourselves some uh, preview image our own usage this is by a4 sites picture zoom to feel stroke border if you want to rotate to feet but these are just some boring I just be I just create these to show that how it look basically when we uh, edit these values but there's not much to do uh, pretty much same uh, settings as before slideshow and book together and here is some print print job what you can add use by yourself and after that we go web and here we can see basically templates our web gallery what we it would be look like but this look somehow rubbish so I don't use this but there is uh, one great thing when you are uh, creating this layout by here and exporting and uploaded then you will be automatically updating it when you are updating these photos and most mm, most important thing here is that let's see just get some color here uh, most important thing here is that you add here ftp server edit and you give here server username and password and server path and protocol port and hit ok and export and after that it will be exporting those to that server and then you should be have gallery at your home page but this was something about photoshop lightroom and i hope you understand what i was saying because my english ain't best possible and yeah hit me comment uh, put share like subscribe and thumb up if you like because that will be give me some perspective to see do i continue doing this with english also but yeah i hope you like it and thank you and take care bye